Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan, and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator, specifically for skin of colour. Right, so today's video is for my family in India, and uh, you've asked me for Conscious Chemist, um, and I'm going to do a review on it. As you know, I have never been sponsored, and I refuse to ever be sponsored. Um, this is not my income stream, this is my love letter for my skin of colour family globally, so that you have an evidence-based library so you can figure out what to purchase and what's really not worth your money and it's just a lot of marketing. If you've watched 10 or more of my videos you are a Dr. V Inky hacker which means that you should be able to turn over your, your sunscreen or whatever the product is and look at the ingredients at the back and figure out if it the marketing matches up with the ingredients in the product and if it doesn't you will know about it. So uh, today's video is uh, a brand that is quite big in India and it's one of the few that they do actually give the full inky list. Um, I am honestly struggling to find, you know, majority of the brands in India, they give key ingredients, which isn't enough because it's not full disclosure of, you know, which preservatives are they using? Are they putting fragrance in it? Is there denatured alcohol in there? Um, are the percentages high enough uh, for it to be in the therapeutic index or is it just for marketing? So you really need that inky list at the back to be able to work it out. And what it is, is that the ingredients are in descending order. So for example, majority of the time, say for example, this is uh, shear zinc from Neutrogena. Um, the number one ingredient is most likely water. So water tends to be about 70% of a normal cream emulsion, for example. Um, and so it's really easy for me to work out roughly what percentages we're looking at um, when I look at the back of packaging. And my aim is really to get through every single brand um, that you have access to, to tell you whether it's worth your money or not. All right, if that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. Okay, so starting off with the first product, which is their facial cleanser. Um, so I think this is one of the most popular products. Uh, looking at the surfactant, so a surfactant is basically an ingredient that is able to remove oil-based dirt from the skin. And what it, base, it does is it envelops that oil-based dirt or grime or sunscreen or makeup um, in an envelope um, with lipid-loving molecules on this side and water loving molecules on the outside and so then when you wash it off with water it's very easy for it to be removed from the skin when you for example have oil on the skin and you just put water on it you'll see water droplets uh forming on top and you're not going to remove any of that oil you really do need a surfactant in order to increase the wetting capacity of the dirt right so the ones i've chosen here are sodium laurel methyl isethionate which is a mild surfactant and it's derived from coconut uh, I do like the surfactant so I'm happy with that and they also went with sodium laurel um, ampho acetate which does have quite an elegant feel with minimal irritation and that is what I look for for skin of color with us one scratch one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment and so I'm very careful about ensuring that our skin barrier is always intact and we minimize any form of inflammation so I'm really happy with those surfactants. The emollients here that they use are hemp seed oil. So an emollient is basically an ingredient that will smooth down the edges of the skin. Uh, if you don't use an emollient, your skin looks dull. As soon as you put moisturizer on with emollients in it, it smooths down the uh, edges of the skin. And so light reflects of, off of it evenly and your skin looks like it's glowing or it looks flawless. Those are the sorts of words we look for. An emollient is one of the key ingredients in a moisturizer to allow that to happen. Uh, and then they use the anti-inflammatory aloe vera, which I love, and then a humectant. A humectant is a water magnet, and they use glycerin, which I love too. Um, so glycerin basically holds water in the epidermis, the top layer of skin, and so it plumps up the top layer of skin, and it stops your skin from looking dry and dehydrated. The other ingredients do seem to below, be below the therapeutic index. So for example, niacinamide and 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. I love both those ingredients. 
but I don't believe they're high enough to see really any benefit from it. Plus it's a cleanser, which means you're washing it off anyway. And so I wouldn't rely on those ingredients in this particular product to be working. Having said that, I love this product. I do think you should purchase this product. Uh, I would purchase this product. So this is a Dr. V approved product. Um, the next product is the Pro Collagen Serum, another, I think, bestseller for them. Um, I actually really love the ingredients in this product. So the second ingredient here is 3-O-Ethyl Ascorbic Acid, which is high up um, on the inculus, which means that it's at a decent percentage. Um, and then, and the good thing about 3-O-Ethyl Ascorbic Acid, it has about 80% conversion rate to ascorbic acid with minimal irritation. That means that it converts to the active form, but without irritating our skin. Um, and so it is one of my favorite forms of vitamin C. My other absolute number one favorite is tetrahexyl decal ascorbate because it's fat soluble. It's one of the few ingredients that gets into the dermis to restore collagen. But this would probably be, you know, a close second for me. The third ingredient here is aloe, which is anti-inflammatory. The fourth ingredient is glycerin, which is a humectant. It's also got peptides in it, which I love. Um, and they also did well in terms of making sure that the antioxidants were in combination. So they have vitamin E and glutathione, which are both basically antioxidants. And you want your antioxidants in combination to stabilize them. The big mistake they make ha made, however, with this product is the packaging. It should have been in an airless opaque pump because otherwise all, all these antioxidants will oxidize in oxygen. Uh, and so they're already unstable. They've done so, all, they, you know, they're so close with this product. Um, if they literally just switched it to an airless pump, um, I would definitely recommend this product. Uh, but the way it stands right now with this packaging, I'd avoid it just because, not that it's gonna harm your skin, it's just not gonna be that effective, um, purely because it's most likely oxidized in the bottle. Okay, so the next product here is Indulge Facial Cream. Uh, so the second ingredient here is aloe, the third is hemp seed. Uh, they've also used glycerin as a humectant, um, and they also use 3-O-Ethyl ascorbic acid. So all ingredients that I love, plus niacinamide. I actually really love this product for dry skin or inflamed skin. It does contain stearic acid, which is two out of five on the comedogenic scale. So it's probably fine for acne, but it may clog your pores if you're already prone to it. So I would say I would buy this for normal skin or normal to dry skin. Um, but I really love this product. It's a Nave Safe product and it's definitely Dr. V approved. Uh, looking at the next one is the body cleanser. It's almost identical, honestly, to the facial cleanser. Uh, but the facial cleanser is 789 rupees for 120 mils. Uh, the body cleanser is 629 rupees for 250 mils. So you're getting a lot more for your money. Uh, and I probably just... Honestly, just use the body one on the face if money is a factor. Um, there's really not much between the two products. So the next product here is Reboot Night Treatment Serum. Uh, so I'm not a fan of Bakuchiol on its own because it's not as effective. It doesn't have as many studies um, as other vitamin A ingredients such as retinaldehyde, which is my favorite form of vitamin A, or retinol, um, or even retinol palmitate. So, um, uh, in addition, in this product, they've added a high percentage of citrus lemon fruit extract, which you may find irritating and, and may sensitize the skin. So yeah, I'm not a fan of this product and I would probably sidestep it for a for product with ingredients that have more clinical studies backing it. The next product is their Porology Toner. I think it's a really cool name. So that's my favorite thing about this product. <laughs> the second ingredient here is Witch Hazel, which can sometimes be distilled in alcohol, which can be drying to the skin. So when I talk about alcohol, I'm talking about denatured alcohol. I'm talking about uh, short chain alcohol. Short chain are volatile. They evaporate. And guess what happens when it evaporates? It takes water away from the surface too. I'm not talking about long chain fatty alcohol, which are delicious and beautiful for your skin and make your they're great emollients for your skin too um i'm talking about short chain uh, denatured alcohol specifically they've also put in citrus lemon fruit extract which can be irritating as well to the skin i probably wouldn't recommend this product and especially not during the day so this one would be a no for me don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one out, the launch of every single video. So make sure you hit that notification bell because then I can be there to answer your questions. I have, I am basically, I'm trying to make a really big um, effort with making sure I'm covering all the brands in India because I know duty is a lot, um, probably the highest in India 
uh, to import international brands, uh, which I feel is very unfair, but I just wanna make sure you're covered and you know, you're know you using the correct products um, on your skin. So today I'm done Conscious Chemist, I'm doing Earth Rhythm, I did the best and worst sunscreens from Nykaa.com. Um, I'm filming those all today and I'm doing an updated video on Be Minimalist today. Um, if there are any other brands that you want me to cover or like, for example, you know, the best cleansers or the best this or the best that, whatever you want me to cover in India, can you just write it down below for me because it goes on my to-do list and I do make sure I get through them and I try and serve you as best I can. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and Skincare by Dr. B because I do tend to ask you questions on there before I do the videos. So I want you in the initial stages of my planning the script to make sure I'm covering everything you want me to cover. Um, and if you are on TikTok, uh, please do follow me on Dr. Mita Ratan as well. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to download your free guide for skincare for skin color down below. <laughs> Bye.